Hi everyone, welcome back. It is the Ventilator, once again. Hi. So it's everyone's favorite time of the month where I do a lot of unboxings of all the yarn I got. So like normal, I have the two yarn boxes that I have and something a little extra. If you remember from last week, uh, I let you know about Jason going to the Amish Fair. Um, I will put a link in the description below for that video over on our other channel about the Amish market and all of that good fun times. Uh, I was not there, but he did give me some yarn, so um, I did see him last week, so he did give it to me. I have not taken a look at it yet, and that will be part of the unboxing, but let's, that will be at the end. Let's get started with uh, post-stitch. What did we get this week? This month. It's monthly. Not weekly. It's monthly. And I dropped a box of blue stuff. We got green. And again, I will put all the description about the yarn in the description below, all the info. info. So we got Emma's yarn, a uh, crazy beautiful color. Uh, let's see what we got. Super silky. Uh, SW Moreno and silk. 400 yards. It's called Happily Ever After. Oh, Very nice. I love it. And I also, one of the reasons why I like getting these boxes, we always get something a little extra. So this looks like another stitch marker, which I love. Is that going to actually be focus? Excellent. Post a picture of it on my Instagram over at the Bendator so that way it will show up a little better for you. So we've got a little wash for our yarn. Let's see. Um, the pattern is called the Carly Cowl by Laura Dorbs. Very cool. Again, I'll post a picture on Instagram in case anyone that is interested can go take a look. The thing I dropped on the ground. Darn good yarn. It is darn good yarn. What did we get this month? Huh? Very similar colors for both from both subscriptions, or at least color palette. Um, what is this one called? It is. Sport weight silk yarn. It's called Caribbean Current. It's fine. It's actually reclaimed silk. Very nice. I don't have many reclaimed silk stuff. Uh, so, side by side, you can see some similarities, but that's cool. But, uh, this one is 200 yards. It's not as much, it's a little bit smaller skein, but still quite a bit. We also got some buttons. Ooh. Those are actually really cool buttons. Um, really kind of like them. So those are awesome. Uh, oh, that's cool. It's called the Shoreline Purse. Let's see if I can actually get a good... There you go. If you want the pens, you actually have to Subscribe to them. I'm not gonna part of the fun. How about school? And they give you like a little chart, chart on each side, so you know how to do that. So that's awesome. Love the colors. Um, I always like finding out the names of what people name the yarns because they always come up with like re really creative kind of different kinds of like yarn. So let's see what Jason got me. It's worth. If I've taught him anything over my years of hanging out with him and knitting. Ooh. That's really cool. They're, I look, these are really nice. They're very vibrant. Like, they're very rich colors. So, um, Lumen. There's a the label. Again, I will be putting all of the uh, details in the description below. Just so that you can take a look at it. 
uh, kettle dry uh, dyed yarns in, from Intercourse, Pennsylvania. That's where um, a group of Amish people live, so that's cool. Um, let's see, it is superwash merino wool and silk, 50-50, and it is 400 meters, and it's super fine. So that's very cool. Maybe I can work something out together with them because I have 800 yards. Maybe a small blanket. If you guys know any good small blankets for it, let me know. Um, I think that's what's going to come up with this. Um, but it's actually kind of cool because from what Jason was telling me, they don't actually spin the yarn itself um, in terms of um, the yarn. They, I believe they ordered it from, he didn't tell me where could not remember uh, but they actually just do all the dyeing so that way you know the actual green and blue of it is what the kind of what makes it special so go check them out um, don't think they have a website but I will again I will put all the description and the all the description of the yarn in the description of the video and I will be putting a couple video, a uh, couple pictures up on Instagram when the, uh, this comes up, so you can take a look there in case you're interested. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye.